intro get set go level one six and one lesson 16 story telling story 9 God's mercy hello everyone greetings this is Aisha Siddiqua hope you are bright and shiny I'm also doing great today I want to tell you a story called God's Mercy. So let's begin. A flood was threatening a small town and everyone was leaving for safety except one man who said, God will save me. I have faith. As the water level rose, a jeep came to rescue him the man refused, saying, God will save me. I have faith. As the water level rose farther, he went up to the second story and a boat came to help him. Again, he refused to go, relying, God will save me. I have faith. The water kept rising and the man climbed on the roof. A helicopter came to rescue him, but he said, God will save me. I have faith. Well, finally he drowned. When he reached his marker, the angrily questioned, I had complete faith in you. Why did you ignore my prayers and let me drown? The Lord replied, Who do you think sent you the jeep, the boat and the helicopter? Hope you liked my story. Next time, I'll tell you another beautiful story. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Story 10. Either positively or negatively. Hello everyone, greetings. This is Aisha Siddiqua. Hope you are bright and shiny. I'm also doing great. Today I want to tell you a story called either positively or negatively. So let's begin. When I was in Toronto, I heard a story of two brothers. One was a drug addict and a drunk who frequently beat up his family. The other one was a very successful businessman who was respected in society and had a wonderful family. Some people wanted to find out why two brothers from the same parents brought up in the same environment could be so different. The first one was asked, how come you do what you do? You are a drug addict and drunk and you beat your family. What motivates you? He said, my father. They asked. What about your father? The reply was, My father was a drug addict and drunk and he beat his family. What do you expect me to be? That is what I am. They went to the brother who was doing everything right and asked him the same question. How come you are doing everything right? What is your source of motivation? And guess what he said? My father. When I was a little boy, I used to see my dad drunk and doing all the wrong things. I made up my mind that is not what I wanted to be. Both were deriving their strength and motivation from the same source. But one was using it positively and other negatively. Negative motivation brings the desire to take the easier way which ends up being the tougher way. Hope you all liked my story. Next time. I'll tell you another beautiful story. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Story 11. Internal Motivation Hello everyone. Greetings. This is Aisha Siddiqua. Hope you are bright and shiny. I'm also doing great. Today, I want to tell you a story called Internal Motivation. So, let's begin. There was a young boy who used to come for regular practice but always played in the reserves. 
and never made it to the soccer eleven. While he was practicing, his father used to sit at the far end, waiting for him. The matches had started, and for four days, he didn't show up for practice or the quarter or semi-finals. All of a sudden, he showed up for the finals, went to the coach, and said, "Coach." You have always kept me in the reserves and never let me play in the finals. But today, please let me play. The coach said, "Son, I am sorry. I can't let you. There are better players than you, and besides, it is the finals, and the reputation of the school." Is at stake, and I cannot take a chance. The boy pleaded, "Coach, I promise, I'll not let you down. I beg of you, please let me play." The coach had never seen the boy plead like this before. He said, "Okay, son, go play, but remember, I'm going against my better judgment, and the reputation of the school is at stake. Don't let me down." The game started. And the boy played like a house on fire. Every time he got the ball, he shot a goal. Needless to say, he was the best player and the star of the game. His team had a spectacular win. When the game finished, the coach went up to him and said, "Son, how could I have been so wrong in my life? I've never seen you play like this before. What happened? How did you play so well?" The boy replied, "Coach, my father is watching me today." The coach turned around and looked at the place where the boy's father used to sit. There was no one there. He said, "Son, your father used to sit there when he came for practice, but I don't see anyone there today." The boy replied, "Coach, there is something I've never told you. My father was blind. Just four days ago, he died." Today is the first day he's watching me from above. Hope you like my story. Next time, I'll tell you another beautiful story. Till then, Allah Hafiz. The best way to learn something is LBT and LBD. Now, what do you mean by LBT, Mr. Safwan? Learning by teaching. How about LBD? And learning by doing. That's really true. Thank you so much, and see you in the next lesson. Stay tuned, and bye, everyone.